Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to amplify this a little bit. Beko Gaming has found a way to make it look like our boats actually bob in the water. So let me show you this real quick. This is an awesome technique that Beko came up with. So you're gonna wanna go into your scenery tab, then go over here to props, then navigate to your interactive section and select this little guy, your moving platform rotational. Go ahead and drop him down and select on his animation. Go ahead and select slow reverse on this one. So you've got your little slow reverse. Now you'll wanna go into your advanced tab and attach scenery. And you're gonna to wanna to navigate exactly back to that interactive tab and put a, another one on top of him. So what we'll do is I'll kind of move this over just a little, maybe raise that and just maybe just give it like a slight little tilt. And there you go with that. And what you'll want to do on this top one, see how it's going kind of quick. You will want to change that animation type to slow. And there you go. See how it's got like that nice little, very slow, like churn to it. So what you want to do is select on that one again, go to your advanced settings, make sure you select the top one. It doesn't work if you select that bottom one. Go to attach scenery, and this is where, using our new pirate uh, rowboat, we will grab this little boat, and we are going to attach it to that little piece. And check this out, when you get this attached, you have got a very nice little water rocking wave almost. So if you put it all together, We'll take it out here to the water and test it. Let's just, we'll get it out here and uh, get out here in front of the Amity sign. Oh, we got some water in the boat. There you go. So now you've got like a fairly believable, like little, little Bob and you can play with it. You know, you can, you can change some of the settings around, you, get, you know, get it how you like it or maybe discover a whole new technique, but yeah, Biko has got us bobbing boats now. And I thought that is just a really awesome little touch to add some detail. You know, the only thing that sucks, and you guys will have to tell me if I'm wrong on this, but when you try to do it, I don't think you can attach existing scenery to animation pieces. And that 100% sucks because I was gonna add um, the orca to it. But when you go to add it, it's like you, you can only select brand new scenery pieces. And I was like, okay, well that kind of sucks. Why can't we, you know, why can't I just add pieces that are already here? And, um, you can't, you, you can all like the button only lets you attach, like you have to add objects that are um, you know, straight from the scenery selection. So you can't like just, you know, select the orca and make it do the animation. So I think that's something that Frontier like definitely needs to look into because that is, uh, that's quite dumb that we can't do that. Like we, we should be able to select a blueprint and I would think make it do the animation for us. But uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is, I just come across this on Biko's page just a little bit ago. I'll link their channel down below. Uh, definitely go give them some love for discovering this little Bob technique. And uh, I think that is really, really freaking cool. So shout out to Biko Gaming. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.